last few years, we've seen a shift that you know young people really are seeing that it's critical to have their voice heard to create the policy change that they want to see uh, in this country. The Students Learn Students Vote Coalition formed in 2016, a time when students were not seen as dependable voters. National media took it as gospel that college students don't vote with good reason. The student voting rate in the 2014 federal election was just 19%. Youth vote is perennially one of the, it mystifies all of us. And young voters underperform as it pertains to turnout year in and year out. And there has to be a reason for that. And there have to be individuals and institutions that are working on that problem. There's not many places in the country where so many people are together in one space at a moment in their life where they're ready to learn, they're ready to grow. And we know that if you get young people voting earlier on in their life, they're more likely to become lifelong voters. There's no better way to grow a voter. It is the perfect time, the perfect place to get people into our voting system, understanding our democracy and realizing that they have a stake in it. Changing this narrative required changing realities on the ground. This is exactly what the partners who formed the Students Learn Students Vote Coalition have been working to do on college campuses throughout the U.S. Many began doing this work long before the coalition's founding. I think college and universities are a huge, you know, a huge unique asset. You know, they're just there. There's no institution like college and universities in our country, and uh, they have a unique role to play. Students are proving increasingly uh, more energized and more motivated to make positive changes in their community and for democracy. And I've just felt privileged to just be along for that, to meet that energy and that new um, motivation. You can start at any point in your life, becoming involved civically and making sure that you're voting consistently and that you're voting um, with informed decisions in mind. So I definitely think that having them understand that we're meeting them where they're at. And um, I think that they're better able to understand, okay, like I can do this and it is feasible for me. And um, there are students doing this already and I can do it as well. Now buoyed by a coalition that amplifies and supports their efforts, they've helped students establish themselves as a voting powerhouse. We noticed a historical shift in student participation. So from 2014 to 2018, student voting more than doubled to 40%. Two years later, in the presidential election of 2020, student voting jumped from 52% to 66%. The change in student turnout is higher than the change in turnout amongst the general electorate. And it paid off. a campus community could decide the outcome of that election. That's wild, that's a lot of power. So the power of the student vote can make or break an election. And I think more people are starting to realize that the student vote is something we need to invest in.